kidney is one of the important viscera of the abdomen and it is the viscera of the urinary system. And if examiner ask you to hold the kidney, that means you have to hold the kidney in anatomical position. This is the first question will be asked. And this is kidney, so many kidneys are kept here. I am showing you one kidney how to hold it. Before holding, you must know which one is anterior surface, posterior surface, upper pole, lower pole, and medial border and lateral border. Medial and lateral border it is very easily identified because in the medial border this notch or this indentation is called the hilum of the kidney. This one hilum. What are the structures or other main structures passing through the hilum? Your answer will be from anterior to posterior, renal vein, then renal artery, and most posteriorly is the ureter. So, vein artery ureter from anterior to posterior. Besides this, the nerves enters into the kidney and lymphatics come out from the kidney. So, these are the structures which are passing through the hilum. And upper pole and lower pole we have to identify which one is upper pole. So, of the two poles, this one is the upper pole, it is rounded, more rounded than the lower pole. And the distance from the hilum to the upper pole is more than the distance from the lower pole to the hilum and anterior, sub, anterior surface and posterior surface. Of these two surfaces, the anterior surface it is convex, can you see it is convex, but posteriorly it is flat, this is a flat surface because this surface it is resting on the paravertebral gutter. So, it is flat and it is convex. Now, we know the anterior surface, posterior surface, upper pole, lower pole, medial border and lateral border. Then how to hold it? You hold it in such a way so that of these two poles, the upper pole will be medially than the lower pole. It is close to the midline about 1 inch away from the midline, but lower pole about 3 inch away from the midline to more medially number 1. Number 2 the hilum will be directed medially lateral border laterally and this ureter this one is the ureter which will touch the lower pole in unkinged position. So, unkinged ureter will touch the lower pole very important point because if I hold this in this way, now see the this one, this ureter becomes kinked here in the here kinked. So, it should be unkinked. The unkinked ureter will touch the lower pole, that means this is the lower pole. And the this surface, the anterior surface actually it is anterolateral surface, and this is posteromedial surface. So, it should direct it should be directed anterolaterally it is postero medially and this is the axis of the kidney upper pole to lower pole if I draw a axis it will pass downwards and laterally and this is a transverse axis it will pass backwards and laterally. So, I have to hold the kidney in this way you can hold it like this anterolateral surface postero medial surface upper pole close to the midline, lower pole away from the midline, high lump directed medially and unkinked ureter touching the lower pole. So, this is the kidney of left side and if I hold a right kidney, this is right kidney convex anterior surface, flat posterior surface, high lump medially, unkinked ureter touch the lower pole. So, I have to hold the right kidney in this way. So, there are so many kidneys are there. If I hold both the kidneys right and left at one time of these two kidney, the left kidney will be some extent to a upper level than the right kidney because above the right kidney is the liver. This is the liver, this is the liver on the under surface of the liver this impression for the kidney renal impression. 
So, here will be the kidney renal impression. So, for the larger size of the right lobe of the liver, the kidney is displaced to some extent downwards. So, of these two kidney, the left kidney will be at a higher level than the right kidney. So, this is the anatomical position of both the kidneys.